Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: NFL lies to America once again. Boycott the NFL. This is nothing more than the NFL office attempting, in appearance, to show the fans that they are now patriotic and embrace our national anthem, military, law enforcement, and our president. When in fact, by their own actions, they do not and never will. UPI, Malcolm Jenkins was one of several players to respond to the NFL's decision to reprimand teams and league personnel for not standing during the national anthem. Chris Long, Jenkins' Philadelphia Eagles teammate, also issued a statement after the league's announcement on Wednesday afternoon. The decision was made by the 32 member clubs of the NFL, according to a statement from Commissioner Roger Goodell, Breitbart reported. What NFL owners did today was to thwart the players' constitutional rights to express themselves and use our platform to draw attention to social injustices like racial inequality in our country. Everyone loses when voices get stifled. While I disagree with this decision, I will not let it silence me or stop me from fighting. The national conversation around the race in America that NFL players forced over the past two years will persist as we continue to use our voices, our time and our money to create a more fair and just criminally justice the system and police brutality and foster better educational and economic opportunities for communities of color and those struggling in this country. For me, this has never been about taking a knee raising a fist or anyone's patriotism but doing what we can do to effect real change for real people. The league will find teams that have players who protest on the field during the anthem, each organization is responsible for developing its own workplace rules on how it will handle players who violate the new policy. Wednesday afternoon. It was clear there could be vast differences among team policies, with some owners calling for significant fines for players who protest on the sideline, and some possibly having no workplace rules at all. All of this means that the controversy around the national anthem, a financial issue that the owners plainly want to go away, isn't likely to end anytime soon, at least until the individual team policies are known and players make their decisions on how they will proceed. Even then, it is far more likely that team policies will further fuel the issue. According to people familiar with the conversations, Commissioner Roger Goodell has never wanted to order all players to stand, and this policy avoids that. The efforts by many of our players sparked awareness and action around issues of social justice that must be addressed. The platform that we have created together is certainly unique in professional sports and quite likely in American business. We are honored to work with our players to drive progress. It was unfortunate that on-field protests created a false perception among many that thousands of NFL players were unpatriotic. This is not and was never the case. Roger Goodell The blunt truth is, the NFL and owners felt the financial sting from those of us who refuse to watch, endorse, support and purchase anything that has to do with the NFL. They do not care about any of the issues plaguing our nation, it is the almighty dollar that has the NFL and owners scrambling for a shiny distraction. Do not fall for this. This is not a win for America and the blatant attempt to push the issue onto the owners so that, that the NFL now looks like the good guys and individual teams will look the bad guys is pathetic and cowardly. Nothing has changed, the hate and division is still rampant, the NFL endorses the spoiled brats greedily taking our money and spitting on us at the same time. Why the hell would anyone ever support the NFL ever again? Do people truly have such little grit these days that they selfishly endorse such blatant propaganda? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.